Hi, Gold Class Monkeys. Okay, so today in um, for one of your fine motor activities, I'm having you do something different with the Easter egg um, drawing that you guys did yesterday. So yesterday you did a tissue paper design on it. You scrunched it up and put tissue paper on it. And so for today, I'm going to have you guys do something called scrape painting, and I think it's going to be really pretty. So um, the first thing you're going to do, I have friends to help me today. So the first thing you're going to do is cut out your egg. So we're all going to cut out our eggs. And I printed this on cardstock so it would be a little bit heavier since it's going to have paint on it. Okay, because if you do it on paper, I think it's going to soak up the paint too much and then be really hard to work with. Okay, so I'm going to cut out our eggs. Okay, so there's my egg. Okay, and then... Um, I have, a, and I'll, I'll tilt the camera in just a second, I have a surface down here and um, cover because it's, you're going to be using paint. There we go. We've got three eggs. Um, and you, we're using this kind of paint. We've used this kind of paint in class before, before. It's just acrylic paint. So you can use this kind of paint. And, um, I mean, you could use tempera paint, the kind we use at school when we just do regular painting, but you're probably more likely to have this kind of paint at home. So I've got yellow, and I've got a light purple color, and a light blue color, and an orange, and a light green. So these are all kind of springy colors, okay? So now I'm going to tilt the camera down a little bit so you can see what we're doing. You may not be able to see me, but you'll be able to see. So this is where we're going to be doing it, okay? So you take your egg right here, and you just put some drops of paint on it, okay? They don't have to be really big, kind of like the dot, dot, not a lot like we do with glue, okay? And I'm going to put different colors of, oh, well, that was big. That's okay. I like purple a lot. So I'm going to put different colors on. And so see how I'm putting dots of paint all over my egg? I'm not like putting them all in the center or anything. I'm putting them all over, if you can kind of see that, that they're kind of all over like that. I don't know if you can see. Can you see like that? There we go. Okay, so I'm putting dots all over my egg. Okay, and then what I did is I cut like squares of cardboard from a box we had. We actually had cosmic brownies in our house, and I just cut a piece of cardboard. So it's a little bit stiffer even than cardstock. You could cut a piece of cardboard from like a cereal box or some other kind of box. Okay, and so then I'm going to just scrape it across. So you take the edge of it and you scrape and it's going to be really pretty now you, you can use the paint on it so that you cover the whole thing you don't want to scrape too many times because you'll kind of lose your design it'll kind of all blend together but hopefully you can see that thanks that I'm scraping and I'm getting all the colors on there. Okay. And so when I pick it up, I have a really pretty um, colorful egg with all different colors on it. Okay. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to wipe it off and we're going to do it three times so you can see that your egg is going to be unique. You can even do it more than once, but your egg is going to be unique depending on what colors you use and the, um, the pattern and stuff of your dots. So it's going to be really cool. Okay, so Caitlin's going to do hers next. So she's going to put her egg down and put some drops of paint on. Now I done more tin foil. What? Now I don't work into it. Okay. Here we go. 
Okay, so she's going to put down a fresh piece of tin foil so her egg doesn't get stuck to the, the paint on the other one. Okay. So she's going to put her egg down. And she's going to just put um, dots of paint all over. So she's got blue and now she's doing purple. And you don't need a lot because it, it, it goes really far, even if you use small dots. Thank you. Okay, so she's just chosen two colors. She's going to do blue and purple. Now she's going to scrape it. She's using the edge of her cardboard and she's just scraping and it's making a really pretty blue and purple design. And now this is going to dry. It'll take a, a, probably a day or so to dry, but they are going to be really, really pretty. Okay. So see hers is blue and purple. Really pretty. Okay. And now Lucas is going to do his egg. You can use whatever colors you want. Oh, I'm going to take the back of that. Um, hold on. It's okay. Lucas is going to put his down, and he's going to do dots of paint on his. Lucas is doing green, because that's his favorite color. I did a line. Oh, I goofed it. That's okay. <laughs> Lines are good. Lines or dots, doesn't matter. He's going to do some orange. And some blue. All right, now he's going to get his cardboard. He's going to scrape. There we go. There we go. That's good. Yeah, I can really see. Very nice. He's doing his kind of in an oval pattern on the egg, keeping it in an oval. Very cool. All right. Probably scrape that extra stuff off because that's going to take a long time to dry. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now there's Lucas's. You can see his green and his orange and his blue. So see, they all turned out very different, but they're all really pretty. So that is how you are going to scrape paint your egg. And then if you want to, um, you can look at the colors that you used for your paint. And if you want to, you can even cut out a little bit bigger Easter egg out of a colored cardstock to put behind it. And then you can put it up for a nice Easter decoration. So that is scrape painting. I hope you have lots of fun with that. If you want to send me a picture of your scrape painted Easter egg, that would be awesome. Okay, bye.